Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 of the £2 coins to have a hunt through. Looking for the commemorative ones, the ones with more than face value, but ideally we want the ones we're still missing. We are still on the hunt for three more Commonwealth games. We're fairly soon into this book though, so understandably that we're stuck on a fair few of these still. We've got Wales though, we're not going to get stuck on Wales. Woohoo! <laughs> How exciting is that? Um, turning over the page, if I can get my fingers around it, we're missing all three Olympic £2 coins. Mary Rose, King James Bible. I think it's both London Underground um, two pound coins still missing too. 2015 B B Britannia, we have got the 2016 already though. And then Navy Centenary with the flag error. We've got the last two on the last page. So how many is that? The three, uh, nine, 12, 12 to go. That's not bad going to be fair. Who knows how long it might be till we tick off the, the last of them, but um, we're not gonna tick any, any off just by sitting here babbling. So let's get into these coins. Right then, <laughs> maybe a little bit of a cut there because uh, I had a little adventure looking for a pair of scissors. All my scissors seem to have legged it around here. But what are we looking for then? So this is technologies. We don't want technologies. On some of the shiny ones, we will check for rotation errors. But other than that, anything commemorative really, especially as we said, the ones I highlighted at the start that we're still missing. Oh, there we go. We got Charles Dickens. Uh, Charles Dickens. It is a Charles. It's not Charles Dickens, though. It's Charles Darwin. It is a fairly common one, though. Less common than some of the other very common ones, but um, still only a coin out for uh, face value. But no, exciting news in coin collecting. Plesiosaurus is out. I think many of us will have had ours by now. and I know I've got mine. I've just got to record my video. And that will definitely be up before this video goes up. We've got the VE Day Anniversary, Magnanimity, one of the more common, most common, if not the most common, £2 coins that we find. Followed by Brunel's Arches, the achievements at Paddington Station. So a couple of coins we've got um, counters tracking them. This one's a split one between the achievements and the portrait. As a bit of fun just to see how many of them we find over the course of fiddling a book. I don't do, don't do it for every coin, because that's taken an enormous amount of time. So just a few of them that were... Uh, I highlight that I want to track at the start of a new book, which as I said wasn't all that long ago to be fair, but the time will ratchet away. We've got the wireless transmission there, again, pretty common one that you'll find. So in addition to Plesiosaurus, the Royal Albert Hall um, five pound coin came out. This is Charles Dickens, he's again very common. So the Royal Albert Hall five pound coin came out, lovely looking design I, I must say. Some coins when they come out, I look at the design and go, hmm, but I still reserve my final judgment until I had the coin in my hand. Um, because like with the 2019 Paddington's, I wasn't particularly uh, impressed with the designs as I saw them when they came out, but when I had them in my hand, they were a lot better than the image you see online. So excited to see that. Um, equally exciting to see the Royal Albert Hall one because it looks lovely. And then the confusion, oh, before we get into the confusion, this is the Golden Guinea. It's a, it's um, slightly of face value. It's a lovely coin to have, and definitely, in my mind, a keeper. Our first keeper of the day. But no, um, what was I saying? Oh, the Royal Albert Hall. Bit of confusion because people started talking about a domed coin. I was like, oh, a domed coin. I've not seen that. And I went back onto the Royal Mint website after having placed my orders. Another VE day anniversary there. And I had a hunt around, looked at all the different silver ones because it was silver. It was a silver coin that was supposed to, supposedly a domed, the, first, the UK's first domed coin. There have been other domed coins around the world, but just not for the UK. And I was like, hmm, what's going on with this then? Uh, it turns out it's the third-party distributors that um, have had have had um, details of the coin and are now, um, or were at the point uh, advertising it for sale. But um, the Roman hadn't released it yet, so I'm excited to see what that denomination ends up being. This is going to be something, though. I reckon that's going to be a territory coin. Queen Elizabeth II, two pounds. Could it be the Jersey Parishes, maybe? Who knows? Let's have a look. There we go, Jersey Parishes. We've had this a fair few times. If I remember before I end up the video, I'll double check in terms of the year of mintage whether this is a coin of any value. Generally speaking, they'll be slightly over face value, the territory's coins, um, because Jersey is such a small place, the a number of coins that are minted are much lower than our circulating UK coins. So, But cool design, interesting coin nonetheless, and that'll be, again, another interesting keeper. Any territory coin 
is always a somewhat interest for sure. And Capricorn just looks a bit odd there. Um, but yes, um, interesting to see what the domed version of the Royal Albert Hall is by the time this video goes up, because as you all know, I record quite a little bit in advance. We probably will already have the answer. But uh, yes, we've got Trinity House there. Again, a particularly common one, but it is a cool design that I like. But a Royal Albert Hall, I've got my bunk and my silver proof on their way. Again, it's a, we seem to be flip-flopping with our £5 coins. In terms of um, some of them coming out in £5 silver proof, some of them coming out in half ounce, one ounce, two ounce variants. Another wireless transmission. See, it's all a bit mind-boggling in terms of what coins will end up being. It seems like the culture sets, what I, what I, in my mind, I'm going to deem to be the culture sets. So your, um, your music legends, the James Bonds, the um, Mr. Men series seem to be five pound bunk coins and then half ounce, one ounce, two ounce, five ounce, and so on and so forth. This is the rugby. Five, uh, five pound coin, I've got five pound coin stuck in my head now. Rugby two pound coin, very, very common. You will see that quite often. Oh, there we go. That is Shakespeare's Tragedies, it's a beauty. Now, Shakespeare's Tragedies have found to be had uh, edge inscription errors, so that is where the edge inscription on £2 coins is wrong on this one. It should say, uh, what a piece of work is a man, and lots of them are say, some of them are saying, uh, for king and country. For king and country? Yeah. So let's have a look what we've got here. Uh, there we go. Work is a man. So there, that's fine. What a piece of work is a man. That is fine. We're going to pop that one down. It's still over face value. And its normal usual self um, and then we've got Brunel's achievements the arches at Paddington station again the second time today but no um, I do at the end of the video check all of the edge inscriptions of all the coins we've found and the orientation to make sure there are no rotation errors or other edge inscription errors because there's recently been found to be one that has, that has also been incorrect an older one I think it was a Brunel's portrait with the edge inscription of a Guy Fawkes, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Charles Dickens there, again. Pop him down. Nothing else to be had out of that bag, though. We've still got loads of bags to get through, though. Right, let's have a look. But no, the other exciting thing... Ooh! Shakespeare's Tragedies again. Before we get into the next exciting thing, let's have a look to see whether we've got ourselves an edge inscription error. No, what a piece of work is a man. The Shakespeare's, I will still check the edge inscriptions on video like I have been because um, lots of you have been watching for a long time waiting for me to find one. <laughs> so we'll carry on doing that. Um, what was I saying? There was something something exciting. Oh, the, the uh, we seem to be coming towards the end of lockdown restrictions, which means that... Um, oh, that's going to be something. Oh! Shakespeare's comedies. A bit of background on Shakespeare comedies then. It's the scarcer of the three Shakespeare two pound coins. Now, um, if the, it seems to be the farther, further, farther north you go, the more common they are because I don't get them down in the UK, down in the south of England at all. I think um, in the past year I may have may have found three or four, and the the last three have at least been um, in very short succession recently. So that's a lovely one. We'll just check the whole world's a stage is the edge inscription. So that's fine, but no, that is an absolute beauty. Chuffed to find one of them. They're definitely keepers. Holy Toledo. Uh, but yes, we seem to be coming somewhat edging closer to the end of lockdown and restrictions and things. So the, excite the, the excitement building of uh, Royal Mint experience reopening and being able to go down there again. Brunos portrait for the first time today. And then we have for the first time today. Oh, we've got all three Shakespeare's actually. Uh, Shakespeare's histories, this one. It should say the hollow crown, which it does at least say the crown. Uh, last two there. But there we go. This does not happen very often at all. A Shakespeare set. Wowie, holy Toledo. I can't grumble at that. Maybe it's just a sign of them becoming a bit more common. Because some of the older coins we know have been a bit delayed in their in their release into circulation. It seems to be that lots of coins were minted and then the demand wasn't there, so they sat in the Royal Mint long store um, for quite some time. Another Shakespeare's Histories, and this one does say the Hollow Crown. So let's pop that down with the other one. Crumbs, these Shakespeare coins are going to bankrupt me, they really are. 
but there we go but no um raw mint sauce hopefully going to start again in the near future i can't wait for it to, to kick off again whilst we're still in restrictions whilst we're still having to socially distance i'll be making these mint trips by my todd um i won't be making big announcements on the on the channel like i used to because it, it used to be great fun to go down and see you guys but uh, whilst we're still in these restrictions and, tr and keeping socially distanced and whatnot it's not fair on you the viewer me the person <laughs> and the Royal Mint experienced staff announcing and bringing loads of people down so yes uh, when we start getting out of these weird times then by all means I'll be going back to letting you guys know where I'm going because it's great to meet you and I don't mind I, don't, I, I, I love doing it so um, yes you have to wait for that hopefully very very soon we've got a Britannia here so in 2015 Britannia released re released replaced technologies as definitive design 2015 was a low minted year the subsequent year 2016 was higher but still a desirably low minted coin uh, the rest of the years have been not intended for circulation so here we have got a 2016 see so not the rarest but still a beauty and again another definite keeper our, our little um, shelf bottom shelf of keepers has grown inordinately as we've got on so that is good going a bit of a slow start but looks like we're going to go out with a bang at least we've still got plenty more bags to go now i can see comments from sandy who likes edge inscription hunts which i'm glad to hear because not it's not everyone's favorite things but um we'll do an edge inscription hunt it says here united into one kingdom at the bottom there that'll be act of union there it is again particularly common one Nothing worth writing home about, but we haven't had it today, I don't think. Because uh, it should say, standing on the shoulders of giants is the definitive design. What's this one at the bottom here? Acquiescence. Forgot. Oh, acquaintances. Oh, this be Robert Burns. Acquiescences. What am I on about? Robert Burns. Again, one that's slightly over face value. A definite keeper too. Wow, we. We got two rows of keepers. Um, I think the rest are standing on the shoulders of giants. I think that's all just going to be technologies. Standing on the shoulders of giants, of course, and Isaac Newton quotes, his advances in science are all thanks to having been standing on the shoulders of giants, or something to that effect. Which is a lovely, lovely um, quote, motto, mantra, words strung together to form one conjunct sentence. Right, let's have a look. But no, we've still got plenty more coins come out this year. They seem to have all been flying out uh, very, very close together. Uh, Brunel's achievements again. Pop that with the other one we had today. But yeah, after a bit of a slow start to the year in terms of new coins coming out, so obviously the annual sets are a nice little teaser. And then all of a sudden, we've had a whole ton of coins coming out, which is great. Steam locomotive, the Trevithic. Trevithic. Just to try and get your teeth around that, as always a bit of a struggle. We've got four or five bags left to go. And I hope to see that what a line of keepers we've got. Good result. It's always exciting finding territories for bank coins as well. It doesn't happen too often. So when it does happen, it makes me very, very happy. We've got a very shiny 2015 there. Hmm. It doesn't look like a tech not it doesn't look like a Britannia. I think it's going to be Navy Centenary. Ah, oh, Magna Carta. Even, well, not even better, but just as good. A coin we don't see too often. It's a beautiful condition as well, isn't it? It's a JC, not an IRB one. But that is beautiful condition, isn't it? Holy Toledo. I forget whether we need this for the book or not. If, either way, that's definitely a keeper. Wow, we we've got so many on that bottom row. We've got more keepers than we have throwbacks. <laughs> uh, Charles Dickens there for our third time today. Right, penultimate bag. Come on now, the luck has been with us all day so far. We have had an obscene amount of luck. Oh my goodness, there we go. Another Shakespeare's comedies. Holy moly. Um, it does say the whole world's a stage, it looks like. At least it says stage, so we know that should be right. And we'll pop that. There we go. Wow, that is two full Shakespeare sets. Unbelievable, unprecedented. I don't think that's ever happened before. Uh, this is the VE Day anniversary. We'll pop that back on the top row. And 
just proving how common it is there's our third or fourth fourth ve day anniversary very cool wowzers well we're on to the last bag of the hunt what a result we've had though my goodness if every hunt could be like this, wouldn't that be exceptional? But there we go. Uh, for those who watched this final of the video though, you might be interested in that I have a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that. Alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and there's a PO box as well, should you wish to write into as well. Um, I'm going to have a quick scan through these coins to make sure all the edge inscriptions are right, to make sure for any rotation errors, and I'll update you at the end of the video. Well, all the edge inscriptions, all the rotations are all fine on those coins. The Jersey one ended up being a mintage of uh, 720,000, so pretty high, especially for Jersey that itself star finds then holy toledo i i would struggle in terms of what i would pick because getting two full shakespeare sets this never happens to me um that is unprecedented i think i'm lucky to get one set of them but uh, yes it's got to be goodness gracious it's got to be at least one of those two i reckon because uh, that is a stunning Magna Carta. It's a beautiful condition one, a coin we don't see too often. Then in Shakespeare's comedies, I know the further you are up north, the more like you are to lean towards the Magna Carta being the star fine. But as I said, the scarcity of Shakespeare comedies down south um, of England, at least, uh, that definitely, definitely makes me want to pick that. But let me know down in the comments what you'd pick as your star fine. It's always interesting to know. And as ever, all that leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.